What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Apparently, I won the match. I didn't think we were playing yet. I'm going to take this Mox Sapphire because... Oh, look, we even got chat on the side of our draft. All right, I'm going to hit return to details, and then we're going to return to... All right, we did it. Yeah, Mox Sapphire. It's not, not relatively close. Can I make a request? Tell us a good story. I don't know. No. You want to hear a good story? You should watch season two of The Mandalorian. Those bites were 95% sunflower seeds. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do this guy. This guy never lets us down. And our last draft was two blue-green decks, so... You know what? I ain't really in the mood to not draft this guy. Hello, sir. This is my son. Hello, Wallace Ray. This is actually a pretty good pack. We have Tireless Tracker, Euro Dryad, Ancestral Vision. What are you doing? You doing big sniffs? Okay. Music Manly, are you in this draft? I feel like it's just Tireless Tracker here. It'll probably net us the same amount of cards as Euro. We may not be blue. Oh, Golos is, is hot, though. I do like a Golos. I mean, it's got to be Golos over Simic Signet or Eternal Witness, right? Why did you go on the sideboard? I don't know. Yeah, we're taking Golos. Golos has got that high upside. I got you, you little chief. You want to go down now? You want to go sleep with your brothers in the little bed? Okay. He's too pure for this world. I won a game after my opponent attacked with an Emrakul. I lost a game after my opponent mind slavered me. And we drew Mind Twist on the turn he mind slavered me. And then he mind twisted me after he mind slavered me. So I got twisted and slavered. Interesting. Well, we're definitely plowing under here. I mean, there's no other cards that we would consider, I think. Vraska's kind of cool, but I'm not going to go into black for that. He First your mind slavered, then your mind twisted, then your mind fucked. Yeah. That was pretty much the... Uh, the progression of things. Blightsteel Colossus. We could easily take a Tinker. Um, we could easily find like a Eureka. I think Tooth and Nail is still gone, which I think is a huge mistake. Oh, Fallen Shinobi. I see you're trying to tempt me. I'll just take the sword because I'm a man of conviction. Physically painful. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. The turntable symbiosis was the replacement for Tooth and Nail, but I, I'm pretty sure they they realized it was a mistake, and I'm actually surprised they didn't put it back in. That being the case. Oh, seven carry added. Nice. All right. just in case i guess oh wow dryad came back that's really kind of sweet <sighs> survival sure i'll take a survival uh blooming marsh lets us cast this vraska we have no blue cards, and we also have Sylvan Carry added and Dryad. I don't hate it. Yeah, Reginald. I will. I also, in my own cube, I replace Rotting Registor with Plague Reaver from the uh, Commander Legends. Just think it's a better card. Uh, it does a very similar thing. You're able to discard two cards at will instead of having to discard a card every upkeep. Uh, Elder Gargaroth is very strong. I'm going to take Elder Gargaroth because I think this card is extremely underrated. And you really have to kill it. I don't think we're in Vertica Verticatacorm territory yet. Grim Monolith and Mana Vault in the same pack. I mean, I think Grim is better to be quite honest. I mean, this deals you damage, this doesn't. It costs one more, but you can also untap this whenever at the end of their turn, whenever. Uh, you can only untap this during your upkeep. I think we're just taking Grim. I mean, that might be crazy, but oh, I like a Mole Drifter. I like an Acidic Slime. Kozilek is interesting. Ancient Tomb is interesting. We do have a bunch of three drops that we can cast with an Ancient Tomb. Sword of Feast and Famine, Tireless Tracker, Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Could also take Mirror Battle Sphere, which is a little more reasonable than a Kozilek, but 10 for Kozilek is not terrible in a deck like this. I think it's one of these two. I, I love Acidic Slime, but we do have Rex Age. Could just be acidic slime too. I'm gonna take Battle Sphere. If we do manage to get a Tinker, I think it's actually phenomenal. Um, probably taking Consecrated Sphinx here. Findhorn Elves, while we haven't seen many, is a pretty replaceable creature. Actually, we don't have to be blue, right? Like, there's nothing. The only thing making us blue is the mocks. I'm gonna take the Findhorn Elves. That was another pick in uh discipline so we can take hissing quagmire which does let us cast the Verasco. we could also take progenitus which is good if we have like a natural order let's take a progenitus and hedge for hedge on a natural order bayou is pretty sweet opposition is a great blue card jeez I think I'd rather just not be blue, though. Let's just take Bayou. Hmm. 
Oh, the druids is not great for us. Shrink a mage gets Mox. Yeah, let's take Umbergal Rides. Golgari Signet? Alright. We'll take a Golgari Signet. Carnage Tyrant, Terastodon, and Knight's Whisper all came back. I wonder if that Hissing Quagmire is coming back. I bet it is. Let's take Terastodon. I mean, there's no Tooth and Nail, which is really kind of frustrating, but... Courser of Crufix just came back? Wow. Ravenous Chupacabra and Kozilek. I'm going to take Chups here. Uh, Necromancy, also an option, but we don't really have a Necromancy type deck. Thank you. Midnight Reaper, sure. Thank you. Brett with the three gifted subs, buddy. Oh wow, and he just he just took over. He just took over the number Thank one slot. You. And that's the end. Brett, man, I appreciate you, buddy. So so, so awkward. I think I think my computer just went into uh, the blue light because it's getting dark. I think it's, uh, do you know December 21st was the winter solstice? Which means it is the darkest day of the year. There is the least, is the day with the least sunlight. So, um, presumably every day since then will get just a little bit, a little bit brighter. What's the lucky, lucky, lucky song clip you use? Um, it's from my friend Spencer, actually. His name is Anomic. 84 or something in chat. Lucky, 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 lucky. This year has had a lot of dark days. Like every day I watch Frank. Dang, you guys are friggin' brutal. I do like that we can all playfully troll each other so frequently. So I was sitting. <laughs> that clip Brett just linked is the freaking office space clip where he's like, and then I realized that was the worst day of my life. And every day since then was also the worst day of my life. So every ever so if you're whenever you're talking to me, that's on the worst day of my life. Oh no, I meant. Uh, <laughs> no, I meant every time I watch Frank, my day is a little brighter. Oh, okay, see, that's a lot better than what I thought. Holy shit, there's a channel in this pack, guys. This is exactly what we've been... This is the moment we've been planning for. There's also an Oko, but we're not blue. We've already established. We're taking the channel. It's not close. We already have Blight Steel and Mirror Battle Sphere.
Let's get to, oh, a regrowth? I love a regrowth. It's like an eternal witness, but without a body. It's like if you shave the body off of an eternal witness. That's what you got. I'm taking this Karn. Now we got Channel, Karn, Mirror Battle Sphere, and Blightsteel. Oh, yeah. Also, if we have Dryad out while we have Golos, it's pretty good. The worst day of your life so far. Wow, that's messed up. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that was a creepy way to put it. Yeah, well, that's true. It's like if you took the body of, of an eternal witness and you shaved off the body and you're just left with that juicy tender inside, that's the regrowth. So now you guys know. Do, 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 do. Is it golded goose? Golded? Gilded goose? Or is it wall of roots? I guess we could actually take Gonti too. That was the creepiest thing ever said. So what do we got here? We got Finhorn Elves, Sylvan Caryatid, Grim Monolith. I think we have enough ramp. I'm going to take this Gonti. Guys, I'm still waiting for my sweet, sweet natural order. Is it Deluge? Let's take the Deluge. Let me let me shave hey, eternal witness. Let me shave your body. Oh, you mean like the hair? No, the whole thing. Skin and all. Guys, where is my freaking natural order? I think we might just try Belder here. It's getting worse. <laughs> Oh, dang it. Blast. All right, so what are we doing here? What are we taking? Thrag Tusk or Tribe Elder, huh? Eh? We have Natural Order at home. And you're like, I'm trying to find a card that's like Natural Order at home. I don't think I have one. Whatever, I'll take this Sakura Tribe Elder. Maybe it's Lotus Petal. Elves of Deep Shadow, actually not bad in the in the blue. Yeah, let's take Elves of Deep Shadow. We have Natural Order at home. Natural Order at home. And it's show and tell. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I mean, <laughs> Turn Timber Symbiosis is Natural Order at home. That's funny. We have a good time. Oh, Agadim's Awakening. I'll donate 100 if you shave Moochel on stream. Body shave. Okay, so it got worse. Okay. All right. Well. It got creepier. Eh, we'll take the only cards we can play here. I actually, I think I think uh, Channel got pretty good here with uh, Golos, Karn, Mere Battle Sphere, and Blightsteel. We did not get an Eldrazi, but this guy's hard to beat, man. Shave me like one of your eternal witnesses. <laughs> Find the tender regrowth on the inside. <laughs> oh, God. Animate Dead is pretty decent. Is it better than Whisperwood? Probably. Oh, Wall of Roots came back. So did Sword of Fire and Ice? Oh, we're taking Wall of Roots. I'm going to take this Omnath, man. We can get it with our natural order. We don't have that. I'm just kidding. The problem with those real-life giant pink donuts we got at Universal Studios was that while they were giant pink donuts, reminiscent of The Simpsons, ultimately they were just theme park donuts. And that's my big problem. In spirit, they were awesome. In practice... Eh. 
So we gotta make three cuts here. Oh my god, here comes the tirade against theme park donuts. This is, he always does this. He's like some kind of fucking theme park donut connoisseur over here. Here we go. Get, some, get him on his soapbox. That being said, I love theme parks and I cannot wait to go back to Disney. But I'm not going to be one of those fucking idiots that are going during COVID. I'm so sorry if you're a person who went to Disney during COVID. Really don't mean to offend you, but you're stupid. And that's a dumb decision. <clears throat> Hopefully we can still get along. You'll still support me on twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. You can head over to patreon.com. Support for like a dollar. There he goes again on those theme park COVID donuts. God, he's so, he's so predictable. Donating to Frank Lepore is like a carbon credit for stupid. <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh, that's funny you said that. I actually shaved yesterday, so it should look decently sculpted. That was the intent, so. I've been real tempted to dye my beard recently, and not because, like, I don't... Not because, like... Like, the white has gotten too much recently, and I just kind of want, a, like, a darker beard. But it's like, I don't want to feel like one of those dudes who dyes their beard, right? Like, I don't want to be that guy. So it's really hard to, like, justify the two, you know what I mean? What are we cutting here? Go grab a single channel someone carry added. I also don't want to come on stream one day and it's going to be, like, darker and everyone's going to be like, did you die your beard? And I'll be like, no, but obviously I did. So the answer is always going to be yes, because obviously I did. But it's just like it feels weird. It's not like it's not like a, it's not like a self conscious thing or like an insecure thing. I really don't mind, but I just think it looks better with a little bit more, a little bit more black, because I feel like it's basically just white right now. It is basically just white. I have no idea when it got this, got to this point. Like you could watch videos if you watched me over the years, you can see it progress from like black to like white. And I've mentioned this before, but I'm pretty sure the reason is because I had I had actually had back surgery like when I was like twenty five. And I've heard that the use of anesthesia in, in situations like that can prematurely gray your hair. And that's the only thing that makes sense to me, really, is that, like... <laughs> it's not, it has, that doesn't have to do with that, man. I'm also not that old. So, like, that's the thing. I have no white fixing except for Mox Pearl and Mox Diamond. Should I try to splash for the third color to add both Teferis? I would probably add five mana Tefri because it gives you more time to find the white. I probably would not add three mana Tefri because if you're playing three mana Tefri like later in the game, it's not as good. It's still good though. I don't know. You probably could. Aren't you 121 years old? I wish you wouldn't give my age out. I'm actually 124. It's kind of awkward that you would just call me out like that, but. I remember you with a darker beard and you used to come around birth. Brett, I've seen you like in the past couple years. So I've seen you like in the last like two years, I'm sure. So you make it sound like I, I, I remember you and you used to come around birth. I'm like, buddy, we've interacted in person like very recently. Got <laughs> the good old days. Yeah, I was looking at a video the other day. Hold on, let me see if I can find it real quick. I'm just going to turn this off and see if I can find it. So if you guys are watching on YouTube, I hope you're enjoying this this show real quick. Uh, this, let's go look at... So this is actually from when I was interviewing Day 9. 
from when I was uh, interviewing Dan for TCG player. And like, like, look at the difference here. This is like probably, God, I don't even know. This is probably like eight years ago, actually. Oh, 2013. So seven years ago. Like, that's insane, right? Look at the difference. Uh, this is actually on the shirt. This is a, like a TCG branded shirt. So. I also need to see so you were 113 then. Yeah, it was a different time. But what can you do? Why did you put a pic of you from high school? <laughs> I have a pic of me from high school. It's pretty embarrassing, so I'm probably not going to show it. But anyway, let's make these cuts, huh? Let's play some Magic the Other. Ooh, Mox was in our deck, so we actually need two cuts. We could. This is probably a one. This is probably a twenty sixteen lander, right? I kind of just want to cut like survival, but I think survival is probably good to find any of these guys when we have channel. I remember your videos when you had videos on TCG Player and always had. I I missed the jazz, but I can't play it because otherwise my videos get demonetized, and uh, then the YouTube police come after me. Uh, it's probably secure, secure a dry builder. Dry builder. I don't think we're cutting the the double black cards because they're both very good, and we actually have a lot of black fixing between elves, uh, seven carry added, Golgari signet dryad. Thank you. And uh, three black lands. So I think we're actually fine. Teakwood, thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Yeah, DMCA stuff on Twitch is a big deal. It's not like you're not going to get arrested per se, but like you will like get your account suspended or banned. Seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight. So there should be 15 lands, 14 lands, an Agadim's Awakening, and a Mox. Plus, we have two one drops, a carry added wall of roots, a channel, a signet. I'm going to actually cut one more because we do have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is nine sources. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can actually go down to seven here because we have so many supplemental black cards. Or black sources, rather. Dude, Freedom Cobra, I really appreciate that. That's awesome to hear. And one thing I will say about that is I still, like, the decks I played were decks I actually loved. Like, I would spend so much time just trying to find decks that I really, really enjoyed. Guys, it's really hot in here. Is it hot in here? Whew, just burning up. What are we Golosing for? I mean, you just, you just, I mean, do you think we have to like have, do we, do you, you don't have to activate Golos. You just cast Golos and search for a land. And then you play your Karn or your Mirror Battlesphere the next turn. Like, you don't have to actually activate Golos. However, we can because we have Dryad of the Elysian Grove. I mean, Golos is just a 3 5 that searches for any land in your deck. Like, it's, it's just fine. Oh, boy. I mean, you're not ramping at five though with Golos. That's the thing. Like in this in this format, you're ramping on. You're playing Golos on like turn three, not with this hand, of course. But you know, this hand seems good. Like again, like after Finhorn Elves on one, Wall of Roots on two. This is a turn three Golos, which is totally fine. What would you say to someone with an ear fetish? I don't think it's what you say. I think it's how you say it into their ear. I'm gonna ship Tracker because I think Sword can be pretty good with these guys. <clears throat> And I don't think, like, we have two lands, so we're, all our lands are going to be in play by the time we actually cast a tracker. Okay. 
could actually play sword and equip next turn. I think we just want to maximize our things. Wall of Roots. And an Elf of Deep Shadow. Alright, this is our hand now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's rude. Well, that's actually pretty decent. One, two, three, four, five. We're definitely just going to play Golos here. We're going to get Blooming Marsh because that's the one we don't want to draw here. I think that earwig situation is the most talked about thing. We don't have to talk about earwigs ever again, to be honest with you. They're going to abrade this guy. And yet we are. <laughs> Supreme is done. Today is the day that the regular Vintage Cube comes back for about three weeks. So... Okay, so Ancestral Recall into Incinerate. One, two, three. <laughs> See, this is actually... This is just magical. And then we get to untap our lands and play Dryad, which gives us the mana we need for Golos. Okie dokie. Where's my chat and my... Show my chat and show my game log. I want to see all the things. Like, we have so much space. So, you know, you just put it up there. You just put it up Put it up on your thing. One, two, three, four, five. That's a yikes for me, dog. Yeah, I had a feeling they were going to do some bullshit. That is unfortunate, because we were going to go lost this turn. <sighs> I mean, I guess we just cross our fingers they don't have Splinter Twin, right? That's how we got to do it. There we go. Uh, antibody, I could definitely, we can definitely play your deck. That, I, I could, we can find some time for that. Cool. <sighs> Ancestral Recall into fucking Splinter Twin. Always a pleasure. We don't have anything that really, I guess Beast Within actually is, is probably worth bringing in here. I meant, oh, more for cube on there? Oh, uh, I can't imagine playing Arena Cube over Vintage Cube. I couldn't even fathom it. Yes. I'll keep. It's slow, but it's honest work. I mean, we only have 15 lands in the deck, so we have 33% of our lands right here. <clears throat> would you prefer storm as your opponent no not well <clears throat> on one hand i feel like we have a bigger a uh, higher chance of winning against storm there because they could always whiff it takes them longer to go off uh later in the game rather but on the other hand when splinter twin wins they just literally put two cards together and kill you so it's a lot easier uh Unlike my time and, and mental well-being where I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, I guess we can just go to the next game. Look how long this is. <laughs> That's a long Golos. I like a girl with a short skirt and a long golos. Hmm. 
<clears throat> are they going to Vendillion click us? They're going to Pestermite us. They're not going to do any of those things. Why is your promo code called Rat Train? Well, it's not anymore. It's called... It's just use my name. It's just Frank Lepore. But, um... Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? <laughs> Here we go. Deceiver Exarch. Are we just going to lose two games in a row and turn fucking four because we didn't have an answer to Splinter Twin? This is why people think who think that this should be legal and modern are absolutely out of their mind. Seems good. Give me a channel so I can yeet this friggin' Deceiver Exarch out of the building. A Gaunti, huh? Two, three, four, five. We have six mana, not seven. That's pretty sad. Well, if they don't have it this turn. I'm sure they had it. They just didn't want to play around two. Like, we had a black mana up, so they're probably just going to play it now. Oh, we're going to combat. <clears throat> well, then. Is this what it feels like to have a game? Course of portal. Okay. Oh, they're gonna do something here. You got it. You think the name homage or carnage? Okay. <coughs> What up, Domovia? Have you ever chosen Carnage? Sometimes, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on, I just gotta respond to this. I have three cards in hand.
three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven. We can play this if they have mana leak. It's not great. I mean, I'm going to assume that they have, like... I have no idea what they have in hand, to be honest with you. They didn't counter Karn, so they literally had to draw a counter spell this turn. Okay, that resolves. Maybe they have treachery? Oh, they want Carnage? Okay, that's a good sign. If they want Carnage, that means they likely don't have a way to deal with this. That's fine and kind of weird. Are you playing it off of the Golgari Signet? Um, I'm not a huge fan of, of Shackles because it requires a heavy amount of islands. And I'm not sure, like, if you don't have enough islands, like, it's just not good enough. Oh, no attack this turn either. Okay. Beast Within is actually pretty nice because it gives us a nice little safety net for, uh, you know, any kind of shenanigans they want to. <clears throat> I can get my Golgari signet back when this guy dies, right, guys? Guys? No? Okay. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're definitely going to use this guy. Like, right now, they only have one black for Damnation. Um, they can't Deluge without killing themselves. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. One, two, three. Like, I'm going to assume they're going to, they got something under this that they need. That's my assumption. Uh, otherwise, they, because they only have one card in hand. So, like, they have to draw one of the two, two things. Splinter Twin doesn't kill us. They have to be it has to literally be Kiki Jiki and Pestermite exactly. So I'm gonna assume one of them was under the Shell Dock Isle. Carnage again? No, we're going homage. <clears throat>
got him. Um, I kind of like Mesmeric Fiend here, but they can just get it back. Like, the problem with Mesmeric Fiend is that they really don't have, uh, like, they have things like Lightning Bolt and Incinerate, so it's kind of... I wonder if Regisaur is good enough. Hmm. I wish we had more instant speed removal. I think search is fine. Come on, Mox Sapphire. I think Grimmodel is pretty good. Oh, Grim into Plow? Oh, boy. That's the ticket. Uh, I am in Colorado. So here's the question, right? We're going to play this. If we play Sylvan Carry out of this turn, next turn we'll have four. And we can, we can go Grim for two and then Plow the same turn, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that works. So this is actually just better than Grim this turn and Plow next turn because it leaves us with uh, Sylvan Carry added on the board. Oh, this is just fine. Yeah. My manager in the company is too good. I don't understand it since I have literally always worked for awful companies before. Michael said liberally, not literally. Got him. Yeah, so we go like this, do one of these jobberinos. Guys, you know we can also regrowth the plow under. So that's that's pretty cool. They can't even like they can't even daze us because we they we don't have an island. They don't have an island. You guys know what I'm saying. I'm expecting huge donations to start coming in for Frank now that you have that amazing job. Michael actually got a shit ton of Christmas presents for all of us. Um, I think we're just Gargarothing here. So the alternative is going uh, Signet, Courser, Regrowth, Plow Under. Which is probably pretty backbreaking. Because then next turn we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. One, two, signet, one, two, three, courser, land. And then next turn we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're not going to see the regrowth coming. Hmm. <laughs> The alternative is just getting all the Gargaroth in play, which I feel like they don't have a ton of answers to. Let's I'm gonna do that. I think the the amount of card draw we can we can pull off of this guy is probably worth it. <sighs> okay, so we know they still have a Wandering Fumeral. One, two, and then we have one, two, three, unfortunately. Let's hit, well, if we hit like a mox, we can actually plow under this turn, which is pretty insane. That was not a mox. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, that's pretty good.
We know one of their cards is Wandering Fumeral. Mm, okay, you got it. Can you imagine if there's like a big thing under channel? Like a crater hoof? Hmm. Hmm. So they can actually go... No, they can't do anything here. They can shoot it for one, for two, and then block with three. They only have one red, so they can't do anything else either. Crater hoof. How as strong as I could be, a crater hoof. Okay, this is this is just fine. Uh, we'll kill the P and Karen Lar. One, two, three, four, five. Play a land. Redraw those two. Yeah, that's... <laughs> so you have Wandering Female, Sheldock, and Stomping Ground coming up. So you have two actual cards for the next X turns. I mean, if the two unknown cards are literally like Splinter Twin, Pestermite, Slash, uh, Perceiver, Deceiver Exarch, Perceiver Exarch, Perceiver Exarch, and Destermite... I mean, we have Craterhoof next turn, so that's that's pretty cool. Okay. So we know you have Wandering Fumeral and two other random cards. Frosty T. Now we're going to draw a Swamp. Okay, that's see, that's a card. That's a good card. I, I, I regret uh, attacking with our with our courser now. Not only did it it, it, it made us draw a swamp where we otherwise wouldn't have, but now we have one fewer creature to not only attack uh, with. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. This is an unfortunate creature to have to have seen. Um, five. This is this is eight though. If we just cast him. I don't think we have to do that, though. I think we have at least a turn. Oh, Tonos, what up, my dude? Good seeing you. Okay. Did you send me an unexpected Christmas? No, I actually don't even have your address. Which I should probably. Because I feel like you're the kind of guy who gives and gives gives good Christmas gifts and also would like receiving the good Christmas gifts. Not a land. It's not a land. One, two, three, four. Four, five. Vraski. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. That's actually very good. I'm a fan of that.
Man, Beast Within doing some work here. Somebody got me a Beechwood poster rack for hanging homemade noodles. I want to thank them. That's very specific as well. They have to know of all your, uh, of all your homemade pasta proclivities. Oh, they didn't do anything. I So here's the thing. I don't really want to draw another card here because they do have... Um, they, and then this is online, right? So like that could be literally anything. Three, four, five... Okay, I guess we're just going to cast it. Well, we've hit Forest. Eh. And then Elder Gargaroth would have hit Forest. So two more lands. We just have to cast Crater Hoof. And that's how you do it. See, this is why you second pick a Crater Hoof when people pass it to you. You're just like, you know what? That'll do. Merry Christmas, hoping your love for food and cooking is still alive and well. This is gift number two of two. No identifying info otherwise. Ordered on Amazon in the past couple of days. Did you did you also get gift one of one from them that said one of one? Haven't gotten one of one. Interesting. Wait, did I? I just. Oh, okay, so I just misspoke. All right. That's fine. Whatever. You guys knew what I was saying. Oh, I'm going to keep this turn turn to channel Blightsteel Colossus Golos. Mother of Runes. Well, white a white deck is one of the few decks that would definitely be able to put a... <laughs> the English major who corrects people's typos? Oh, brother, we ain't letting that slide. God damn. Omazawa's Judy. Judy for that booty. Um, yeah, we're just going to do this. 12 plus 5 is 17. Do we want to go to 3 here? I feel like we do, right? Well, we'll play this guy either way. So my problem is if they have uh, Swords of Plowshares, Path to Exile, I don't want to have nothing on board. And I feel like they will. I could also have Land, Banishing Light, Council's Judgment, Oblivion Ring, Unexpectedly Absent. Like, there's so many things they can have that I really just want to have something on board so I don't get Mother of Ruined into Oblivion. 
I got a lot of problems with you people. Yeah, let's let's make sure that we don't spell it A L O T as one word because that's not a word that exists. Okay, that's not a thing I care about. Neither is that. Thank you. You have to block with both of the. What? I mean, we're definitely blocking. We're at three, so. I've got. Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna play Wall of Roots into Dryad. So then next turn we would have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, dang it, we still be one shy of activating Golos. I mean, we didn't really see much, so I kind of like. Oh, actually, Toxic Deluge seems like a a banger. I have five slots for Golgari cards in my Legacy Cube. Which card should I choose? Let me let me check my list as well. I'll see what I have. Uh, I think Fiend Artisan is a decent addition. I'm gonna bring in Toxic Deluge, because because obvious. I think survival's like one of the easiest cuts to make. I don't even like it that much, but um, looking over my list, I think casualties of war is surprisingly good. Uh, the black green dragon lord is really sweet as well. I'm just kidding. That doesn't exist. You can imagine though, right? That'd be sweet. Dragon lord. Grol Grol Gar no, it's done it's done work. Uh, Maelstrom Pulse Marin of Clan Neltoth is super fun. I think that's a really powerful card that also is uh fun as well. I I recently added Pelucranos Unchained to my cube because I think just for the value of six six for for four or for yeah, six six for four that can come back is really, really good. And I haven't tested it, but I mean, I feel like it's on par with like green, mono green Pelucranos, you know? So like, um, I'm going to keep this because a toxic deluge. Also, if we just happen to draw a channel and a green source, like, you know, that's really, what could, huh, what could go wrong, you know? We're halfway there, living on a prayer. Oh, they got Rashad in port. Nah. Okay, but we still drew the channel, and a green source is imminent, right? Like, there's... Come on. This is okay. Now we have double green and we also have a channel, an extra for channel. So as long as we hit any land... And it costs two to kill my guy, thanks to the Rune Wing Mare. Okay, so we just get to channel Kuarn. 
Kuan. Take my hand, we'll make it, I swear. So we can play Golgari Signet too. So what, how much are we spending? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We go to 5. We can actually play Karn first, kill the Wingmare. I mean, I don't think I care about the Signet that much. Because the sad thing is, like, we couldn't Deluge for two. We actually had to just play. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I actually don't think I care if, like, yeah, we're definitely killing Wingmare here, and then we're going to... Because they have to actually play another guy, and we can easily block here. I'm not super concerned with that. Actually, we can just deluge for two here, can't we? I guess that would put us to two. <laughs> That's not great. Michael B, they're coming for you. Squidward in a chair. Take my... So we need one for toxic... We, we, need, we pay one to activate this, which is give us two. We pay one more for the third... And then we pay two for the deluge itself. But they would have nothing on board. Okay, we go to four. We go to two life. It seems bad. Like, they have to have swords. Like, swords or path. And then another creature to kill our Karn. And I think that's actually fine. Okay, well, that's a good start. They're going to journey to nowhere, my guy, and then they're going to play a Thalia, and then they're going to attack Karn for four. But then I get the Toxic for two, which is pretty decent. Okay, that's actually just fine. Oh, they had nothing. Wow. Okay. So we're just going to draw a card here. Oof. I mean, Hero Bladehold seems like the pick. Eh... <laughs> uh. We're at six. Nah, I'm just going to pass. I don't feel like I'm comfortable enough. Like, they have five mana. They can easily get rid of this guy, play a shitty guy, and we take four. Like, that doesn't seem great for us. Yeah. Well, now we're Toxic Deluging for two, and it's going to feel very satisfying. Oh, they're going to kill something, aren't they? I mean, the thing is, if they path or they swords, we're okay. We gain life. And we still have a blocker. I think they have path or swords. Like, oh, that seems very obvious right now with their, with their planes tab. Oh, they did nothing. So now we just get to... Oof. I hope it's a land. Daddy wants a land to add to his land collection. Or are they going to path on our turn so that we get to... Nope, they didn't do anything.
yeah, that was that seemed good. I'm no expert. Um, I don't want to regrow the channel. We don't have the mana for that or the life for that, I guess. And if we want to regrowth uh, Toxic Deluge, we can just choose to do that on the same turn we cast it. Yeah, that guy's good. I got a Death Toucher, though. So we have to assume one of their cards is one mana removal spell. I wonder how fun a vanilla only creatures queue would be. Fucking, that sounds unfun. That sounds literally like war. Okay, I got three. Oh, you got four? Okay, go ahead. Like, the the whole reason I, I play cube is, is to get away from, like, boring interactions. Like, I three two for three. Uh, two two for two. Three three for four. Like... That's my least favorite part about standard drafts because, like, it just doesn't give you a lot of interaction. Uh, sure. My only... But that actually doesn't matter. We got Dryad. Oh, boy. Ooh. One, three, four... My, my, my hero of my hero of blade hold. Can't read my, can't read my new, can't read my hero. This is not a song. Oust. Oh, they were going to oust. That's good. That is good. We did gain three. Really? It's an interesting choice. So, one, two, one, two. Eh. I think we're just plowing under here. <laughs> it seems really good. So, wait. Oust says second from the top. So, they have one card and then hero. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't like Spirit Monger. I think Spirit Monger is kind of outdated. I think Pelucranos is just better. It's a six, six for four mana instead of five. And it does more modern things. One, two, three, four, five. Plow these two. So now they have planes, port, one card, hero. I'll make it a question mark. And we can easily attack here because we can't block. Like, we're going to take three and go back down to four, but... You know, it's just, oh, there's the port. The problem is they have nothing else to do with the Rashadden port, so they can just easily port us every turn, which means we're two lands away from Karn rather than one. Elder Gargaroth. That's what we want. Show me the Elder Gargaroth. No? Actually, Corsair's pretty good here. P 
Port Us Head. <laughs> I used to listen to Port Us Head. I've never listened to Port Us Head. What an odd name for a for a band as well. One, two, three. Gain a life. Oh, and we're drawing another land next turn. See, this is this is actually great. I am tempted to regrowth the toxic deluge here. Oh, we can play two lands a turn. I almost didn't play my second land that turn. Wow. <laughs> that would have been terrible. Unfortunately, we are drawing this. No getting around that. I don't know. If I, <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now in the chat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So next time we can literally just play Karn. This might actually order a concession because they probably think we're going to play it next turn. So now they draw their planes. And they have the same hand that they had. Uh, no blocks. Yeah, you got it. Oh, you got it. I'm just going to play this guy. Next card is random. Hmm, interesting. I think we're just going to plow under again. Because, you know, we're having a good time. I don't want to die to these tokens, though. That would be really sad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. When the normal vintage... This is literally the normal vintage cube. This is not supreme. Get rid of it. Got no ground guys. You got no haste guys. Random card. Did they not play planes? Phantom draft just means you don't keep the cards. What a swamp. Well, that's wild. I've never heard of such a thing. Oh, they just scoop. Why did they take Blightsteel? I can't even cast that thing. Did they mean to take Plow Under? Because actually, like, they could just hit Karn. Karn goes to two. Next turn, you draw a hero of Blade Hold. I mean, interesting. Anyway, this goes to, just goes to show you that Crater Hoof's a hell of a drug. Does Frank cheat in Magic IRL? <laughs> Let me tell you something. When I play board games with Michael, Michael cheats constantly. He's always like, okay, I'm going to do this, this, and this. And he's and we're like, oh, okay, cool. And I'm like, wait, can you do that? And he's like, and we're like, oh, no, you can't do that. And it happens like four times a game. He'll always try to do stuff that that's, that's not legal. He says he's just like, oh, it's just an honest mistake. But come on, we, we know better. Oh, fuck. Oh, that makes my stomach turn. Here we go. It's all... Yep, in response, I'll discard a guy. Oh, God, it's happening. Oh, God. Oh, God, what's it going to be? Putrid imp, you little shit. Oh, nothing happened. Okay, but they still, there's still time. They don't have to do it. They can do it now. Yep, they did it now. Oh, dear. Well, they only get one hit, actually. That's actually not terrible. Surprisingly not the worst. 
Like, because they probably have, like, six cards anyway. So they played their land for the turn. Oh, they're just going to go ham. And discard ten cards. Okay. Well, that is a thing you can do. They're just going to make sure that they set it, set it up for, uh, look, just because I'm dumb and accidentally cheat doesn't mean I do it on purpose. Just because I accidentally cheat doesn't mean I do it on purpose. That would be the definition of accidentally cheating. What do you got here? Ashen Rider, him to Torok. Interesting. I got a Car Car Carnitas. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't know I couldn't do that. <laughs> but I did know I couldn't do that. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, w won't get fooled again. Oh, W, you, you magnificent piece of shit. In all seriousness, I would probably take W over over our current fucking idiot any day. And that's the end of political time with Frank. I mean, I think the, the, the big question of that turn was either Vraska or Gonti. I don't think we were going to play Tireless Tracker because the... Oh, uh, God. Oh, God. It's actually not the worst. Hunters are really having a good lick right now. Oh, they're just going to force it. Well, it. Fantastic. Man, talk about having it all. Wonder what they got. Time walk. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, Lord. That's fucking amazing. Well, we're going to take at least eight damage here, so that's pretty good. No, what am I discarding? Let's get rid of uh, a Findhorn Elves. Is it when it dies or leaves the battlefield? Oh, it dies. So I could actually exile the Ashen Rider. Mm, what do you... Oh, Snapcaster Mage Time Walk. Seems good. Wow, that is... That is phenomenal. Let's bring in Mesmeric Fiend to take out Survival again. I mean, we have... Do we not have Animate? Oh, we do have Animate Dead. Let's bring that in. I was like, where's our Animate Dead? Hunter's, Hunter's Wiener is all the way out right now. I just want everyone to know. That thing is... He's just sitting right next to me in the little dog bed, just, just chowing down. Oh, a channel, but a not a no. I'm gonna. This is not gonna do. But this will do. Oh, this will do. 
Uh, what are we putting back? Rex Age is good. We'll put up back the Dryad. Oh, turn two Blight Steel. I like it. Oh, they just have Force of Will? They don't have Force of Will. One, two, three. This guy. Oh, discard Iona. Okie dokie. Shallow Grave, Liliana of the Veil, vale, and Force of Negation. I mean, shall... Iona hitting us for <laughs> seven is actually pretty good here. Because that would kill us. So let's hit the shallow grave. So now we know they have one, two, three, four. Now we know they have... Uh, Force of Negation and Force of Will. Okay, we just win the game. Yeah. Turns out reanimating is not fun when it happens to you, is it? Unbelievable. Hmm. I think that was fine, right? Actually, Beast Within seems good, too. That's just another removal spell. We can bring that guy in and take out... Eh, we can take out the Tireless Tracker. You ain't doing us any favors. When did you get your beard all nicely trimmed? I literally shaved yesterday, so... Probably around then. This hand is not exciting, but we got a Mez Fiend. And we got an Animate Dead if they want to put anything in their graveyard. <laughs> we shaved Eternal Witnesses. Don't talk about me shaving Eternal Witnesses' body, all right? Austin, what up, my dude? Good seeing you. Did they mulligan? No. Interesting. You get two for one? Oh man, it, that, they don't know we have the animate dead here. We're gonna take their animate dead. Oh my god, they ta okay. That's fine. So we know you have. We popped the wrong thing out. Hmm. They're gonna force of will our animate dead, which is the problem. <clears throat> Let's just toss a Gargaroth on the field. We know two of the three cards in their hand. They didn't play land.
Yeah, we're just drawing a card here. Oh boy. So the thing is to animate dead like that kind of one, two, three. They are going to counter this, I imagine, and they can't actually pay for force of negation. So, so they're going to force of negation this and get rid of Snapcaster, which means they can't also Vampiric Tutor. And this actually sets us up for a pretty decent Crater Hoof. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, if we hit a land, because then we can attack with these three guys for like plus six, plus six. And that could be the game. They have very little gas in the tank right now. They have one card in hand that we don't know about. Shut up and take my money. Well, that's not going to do it. Thanos with $100? Merry Christmas Eve, Eve? Oh, my God. Even even preemptively retired, Thanos is still a, an amazing... Just an amazing dude. Thanos, I love you, buddy. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you. Wow, that is awesome. I'm Grandpa Thanos now. For a second, I was like, wait, does Thanos have kids? And do they have kids recently? Wait, they just... I'm just going to play Blightsteel here. They have one card in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm retired and look like you get 100 bucks for Christmas and 20 bucks when I see you in person. That's okay, Grandpa. I appreciate it. Grandpa. So they can't Damnation because Blightsteel survives. 3-0 for our second Vintage Cube with the Crater Hoof. The Crater Hoof Smackdown. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty good. I'm going to open this treasure chest here. Be sure to subscribe on Twitch. That's it? This is what you give me in my treasure chest? On twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. You can also subscribe and follow on youtube.com, which you're on right now watching this, presumably. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.